first points to address with this question are the what and the why behind the statement. That is to say, what are the drivers on the industry and from within the industry that make this improvement so important? Productivity is intrinsically linked to the way in which we design, procure and construct them. Buildings, as we evidence around us, are seen as unique. And in the past, this has meant that the considerable benefits of standardization and common kit parts haven't been realized. To put it into numbers, if we consider the McKinsey report from 2017, reinventing construction through a productivity revolution, they put the number at $1.6 trillion if construction had progressed at the pace of other industries. So we see the need, but the big question for construction is how, because there have been many demonstrators of how a better way could be achieved. The traditional way has been to take what we do on site and move it into the factory. This has some inherent benefits, but still misses some of the opportunities in terms of skills and the connectivity on site. The next level of thinking is design for manufacture and assembly. DFMA, as it's also known, is taken from the automotive and aerospace industry and is a series of techniques and processes that enables one to look at component and sub-assembly parts that are easily mass-produced, readily integrated into larger assemblies. This provides the benefits of cost down for manufacturing, but provides also benefits to the ability to provide a degree of customization with the end use and the end look. Think of car chassis, um, a common platform which is applied to a number of different models. DFMA in most industries is driven by OEMs. Unfortunately, in construction, we, we don't have those the same as car manufacturing. So we see it in the main being pulled from clients. But at Construct Steel, we're trying to change that. We've got three of our core projects this year focused on this part of the industry. We're looking at modularization in the design of buildings. We're looking at the same for bridges. And indeed, the zero energy building for residential is working with external clients, design professionals, and is based very much on DFMA principles. So again, we're trying to learn from how steel became the material of choice in the UK construction industry. We're looking at alternative manufacturing environments to improve quality and to improve productivity, to try and ensure that steel is technologically ready for the future and is also able to express its environmental, in fact, inherent environmental properties to the best to support the future circular economy. Mm -hmm.